And the focus of this piece of training was the ability of motivated armed offenders to continue to carry the fight against law enforcement even when mortally wounded. What was discussed afterwards about the injuries, the impact, or post-traumatic stress? Zero. So today, we're going to try and do just a little bit better. How long has post-traumatic stress been around? Well, the term first entered the American Psychiatric Association's manual in 1980. In World War II, they had another term for it. They called it combat stress reaction. But there's another term going back to the First World War. It starts with S. Who wants to guess that? Shell shock. In 2000, I was having multiple operations and I had a break between the one particular intrusive operation. It was quite a bit of time. So I jumped on a plane. I flew over to the UK to see my brother. He lives over there. He's married and lived in Cambridge. And his wife, Louisa, she did something nice for me. She bought me a book. This book right here, entitled Shell Shock. It's about the history of post-traumatic stress. And I learned about the first recordings of post-traumatic stress. And it was the Greeks. Greek poets recorded how their soldiers who had been involved in vicious face-to-face -face combat, killing, seeing their comrades killed, being badly wounded, how they would be sleeping at night and they would toss and they would turn, they would sweat and they would scream out and they would relive these horrific battles that they'd been through, suffering post-traumatic stress. So it's always existed. 